What's going on guys, YouTube here, welcome back to yet another video, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we're gonna learn how we can create an amazing typewriter text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a quite bit easy to create that, everything is done inside of Adobe Premiere Pro without using any plugin or any preset. So without further any ado, let's jump into the video and let's see how we can do that in Adobe Premiere Pro. So here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I am currently using 2020 version of Adobe Premiere Pro. You can use any version, whatever you have, it doesn't matter ever. So first of all, we have to create a background. You can use custom background as well, whatever you want. Like you can use photos, you can use videos for your project. But for now, I am just creating a black video. So here we just create a black video i'm just drop it on my timeline so here you go so now i want to make it white for that i'm just go to effects if this effects panel is not appear right there just go to windows and here you got an option of effects my sure it will be checked and it will automatically appears right there so i'm just search tint right so here I got uh, under the color correction, I got a tint. I'm just drop it on my black video and go to effects control. And as you can see, map black to. So I want to change black to a white color as a background. And as you can see, we got a uh, black backgrounds right there. So the next step is to create a text. We can also create a text right there by just select a text tool and just create a text. But it's not a entry way to use a text or create a text in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I refer to go to file, create a new and legacy title is a best way to create a title. So I'm just create a legacy title with a resolution of 1920, 1080, same with a resolution of our timeline project. So I'm just created okay and here we got a, a new window right there so first of all i want to change is font so i'm just go to phones and change font to lemon i also put the link in the description if you want this font link and here you go our text is ready just close a new window so as you can see our text is appears in our project panel just drop this on our timeline and as you can see a beautiful text is added in our screen so now i just go to effects search linear wipe and here you go you got a transition linear wipe transition drop it on our title and go to effects control here we go to some properties of linear wipe as you can see if i move forward there is nothing happening right there but if i increase the transfer completion you can see the text is going on right so for that i'm just make a keyframes right there and make it to 100 to disappear our text now i just move forward where i want to back our text so i'm just make it to zero and as you can see as i move forward right now our text is appear but in opposite direction so i have to change that direction to make it realistic so for that i'm just go to wipe angle and change it to 270 because 90 and 270 is opposite angles and now let's see so after this we need a black bar that is blinking with our text and move forward when our text is moving forward and move back when our text is moving back for that i just go to project and drop our black video that we already created on our timeline now working on our black video right so for that i'm just uh uncheck this uniform scale to make it a black bar i just change the scale width to 0.3 is a perfect size i'm just change the height of our bar uh, is respective to our text so i'm just move forward and now well, let's take a look what is the perfect size of our blinking bar so here you go is a perfect size now i resize this 
so here you can see blinking bar is right there so we have to match our blinking bar with our text how we can do that is a quite bit difficult but not a lot it's taking us some time but after uh, some time the final result will be appreciated you have to do some little bit hard work on this to match your blinking bar with your text but after our results it will be a good to watch right so I'm just go uh, very beginning and when the text appears uh, a little bit before I just create a keyframe position keyframes right there and just moving two keyframes upward right and moving our keyframes to the horizontal direction move our blinking bar to the horizontal direction and the same as I'm just moving a two more frames going forward and move with the horizontal direction moving forward with the two frames moving with the horizontal keyframes and is the same things we can be do with the every text so here everything is done i put a keyframes uh, with respect to our text as i told you move two frames move forward and moving with a horizontal keyframes as well so it will be matched with your text now take a look our keyframes here is our the blinking bar here is our bar matching with our text it just give you the typewriter look here you can see it is matching with our text and giving you the perfect look right so we have to create a blinking effect in our bar as i told a blinking bar blinking bar because we have a put a blinking effect on our bar so for that i'm just moving back at the very beginning now i have to do changing with uh, opacity make a keyframes right there and change our opacity to 35 right so now i have to move a two more frames move forward like one and two right and change our opacity to 100 back right so now i have to move forward to two frames again and change our opacity to 35 two frames more change opacity to 100 more frames two and now change our opacity to 35 it is going forward so i'm just speed up to 2x this video So here you go we're just adding a blinking effect at the end of our text here you go here you can see that so we just copy these our keyframes and put it at the very end as well to make it more realistic so here you can see our bar is blinking at the end of the text it's looking a more realistic look so here is the in point of a typewriter effect you can also put the out effect like the text is moving back and screen is going on you can also put that with the same way you can be moving forward with the bar back to your text and your text is right up here so it is a same way to do that you can also do it yourself so yeah here is the video of today i hope you like this video if you like this video give me a big thumbs up and comment below if you have any question about this video or any other video let me know in the comment section everything will be appreciated thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one take care